right, in this video, we're going to look at problem number 11 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 11, we want to arrange the numbers from greatest to least, biggest to smallest, and I've done maybe two or three videos on this, but the way I always want you to think about this is think about money. Get everything in terms of decimals and like dollars and cents. For example, right here, negative one, let's think of that as negative one dollar. I'm gonna add two zeros there. For the second one here, negative three over two, if you type in three divided by two, or if you take three dollars and divide it by two, you get negative one dollar and 50 cents. Now the calculator will spit out 1.5. I'm just gonna add that zero there since we're talking about money. I want you to think about money. For this third one here, that is not $1.01, that is $1.10. 13%, a way that we can convert a decimal to a percent or a percent to a decimal in this case. If we wanna go from a percent back to a decimal, we're going to move our decimal two places to the left and let's make sure we drop the percent symbol. Another way to think about this is to take your percent and divide it by 100. So doing just that, taking that 13%, if we divide it by 100, notice that we're gonna end up getting 0.13, which is 13 cents. That's how I want you to think about it, think about money. But notice all we really did here was we don't see a decimal in 13%, so it's automatically assumed to be at the far right. We move it two places to the left, just like this uh, D2P thing. I'm going from a percent to a decimal, so two places to the left, we get this exact same thing right here. So therefore, uh, 0.13, let's think of that as 13 cents. Nine tenths, if you have nine out of 10 dimes, you have 90 cents. If you type nine divided by 10 into your calculator, you will get this exact amount. Again, I'm just adding a zero there since we're talking about money. This one here, that's perfect, that's nine cents. And then this last one, 115%, let's move that decimal, which is on the far right, let's move it to the left, two spots, so we have $1.15. Now, luckily, all of these worked out to be nice uh, money amounts, if you will. You know, we, we got a dollar with two decimal places, uh, the 13 cents, the 90 cents, we can add a zero on to it. Some of my other videos had more decimals involved, but we still take the same approach. Now we just wanna put these things from greatest to least. So the biggest one we have up here is this dollar and 15 cents. Therefore, 115% will be our greatest number up here. And I'm just gonna write them back in the same form that they were originally given. So we're done with that one. Uh, what's the next biggest one? I see a dollar and 10 cents, and the dollar and 10 cents matched up with this 1.1, so that's our next biggest. Crossing that out. I'm not messing with my negatives right now because those are gonna be on the smaller side, so we have 90 cents next, which was the 9 tenths, nine divided by 10, followed by 13 cents. That is that 13% that we converted up there, so writing that one down followed by the nine cents, which is exactly what we had right there. And then now, don't get these mixed up. The more negative a number is, the smaller it is. Think about a bank account. You don't ever wanna be negative in your bank account, but the more negative you are in your bank account, the worse off you are, the, the less amount of money you have. I mean, heck, you don't have any money if you're negative, if you overdraft, but the more negative a number is, the smaller that number is. So therefore, negative $1 is technically a little bit bigger than negative 1.5. Now this negative $1 corresponds to that negative one, which leaves our last number up here, this negative three halves, this negative $1.50, that's going to be our smallest number in this set of numbers. And there you have it, arranging numbers from greatest to least. There is another problem on the free practice test that was somewhere between problems one and 10 where we did something remotely similar, same idea. And if I'm not mistaken, I do have another video on this same topic back in either the goal-based objective videos or the mixed review videos. Uh, check out my website for a complete list there with uh, brief descriptions of each one of those tutorials. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.